Hey there! Ever had that moment when you realized no one taught you how to handle your money? Well, today we're here to share some money lessons that nobody ever told you about. So if you want to learn some money lessons that you never learned in school, you've come to the right place. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this. Let's dive right in. The world is designed to steal your money. The world is kind of set up to take our money. Think about it. Ads on social media tailoring stuff to what we like, making us feel like spending is a must. But here's the trick. Beat the temptation by making saving a habit. Set up some of your paycheck to go straight into savings. Like, if you make $2,000, throw 30% into savings. It's super important to create a safety net. Now, if you're the type who can't resist spending, enter the Houdini system. Instead of keeping your savings in an easy-to-reach spot, invest it or stash it in something less liquid. It's a magic trick. Your money stays hidden from impulsive grabs, but comes back when you need it. Lesson here? The world wants your money, but you can be the boss. Take control, cut those unnecessary expenses, and let's dive into the next set of money lessons that no one ever told you about. Know where your money is going. Ever find yourself saying, where does all my money go? Join the club. Life zooms by and before you know it, your paycheck has pulled a disappearing act. But fear not, we've got a solution. Monitor your spending. Start with the basics, fixed expenses. You know, the must-pay bills like rent, utilities, phone, insurance, and other regular stuff. Knowing these helps you get a grip on your financial world. Treat your money like your own project. Review your budget, track expenses, and tweak things to match your goals. It's like becoming the boss of your cash. Here's a lesson. No one cares about your money as much as you do. Take charge, track your bucks, and make informed choices on spending and saving. Oh, and you don't have to do this alone. There are some amazing apps for your phone you can download that will do all the hard work for you. Oh, and make sure to diversify your income. Ever feel like you're not paid enough? You're not alone. Employers won't magically pay you what you're worth. You gotta ask for it. Say you're in graphic design and you notice a new design trend is starting to take off. Specialize in it, boost your value, and ka-ching! Your IT friend can do the same, learn new skills, and get a raise. Lesson here? You can up your income game. Find a niche, learn new skills, and maybe get a side gig. It's your journey to financial growth, and remember, you're the CEO of your career and your money. Next, learn to invest in yourself. So imagine this. You're thinking of buying a book but are on the fence because you're not sure if it's worth the money. Meanwhile, you drop 15 bucks at the coffee shop without a second thought. We've all been there, right? Now, here's the truth. Spending money today can actually be an investment in a better tomorrow. Being too tight with your wallet might slow down your progress in life. It's all about developing the habit of investing in yourself, the key to personal growth. While school is awesome, there are loads of ways to invest in yourself beyond the traditional classroom. How do you do it? Well, grab some books, take up new courses, attend workshops and webinars, or even tackle new stuff at work. Taking a masterclass is also something you can do to expand your skill set. Constantly improving and staying relevant is the name of the game. Keep your money for a rainy day. Life's full of surprises, right? Like sudden car repairs, unexpected medical bills, or a home fix you never saw coming. These curveballs can mess up your money plans big time if you're not ready. That's where an emergency fund comes into play. Think of it like your financial umbrella. Just like you keep an umbrella handy for unexpected rain, your emergency fund is there for those financial downpours. Whether it's a minor hiccup or a full-blown storm, having this fund gives you peace of mind. So the deal is simple. Set aside some money for the unpredictable stuff life throws your way. Ditch the concept of making easy money. We've all been tempted by those get-rich-quick schemes, right? But here's the real deal. There's no such thing as easy money. True financial success takes effort and hard work. Take Warren Buffett, for example. Despite his massive success, he warns against falling for schemes promising easy money. His story teaches us that real wealth comes from disciplined investing, learning, and sticking to fundamental principles. So the lesson here is clear. There are no shortcuts to lasting financial prosperity. When you're tempted by a too-good-to-be-true offer, remember Buffett's journey and the wisdom of financial experts. Embrace the reality that hard work and smart decisions are the keys to success. Nothing is free. Who doesn't get excited about something for free, right? But here's the scoop. 
there's a crucial money lesson hidden in our love for free stuff. Nothing is truly free. Take free games, for example. You download them thinking it won't cost a dime, but surprise, to make progress, you either end up making purchases or watching a ton of ads. Suddenly, what seemed free is costing you either time, attention, or money. In the world of free, there's often a hidden price tag, so it's important to approach free offers with a critical mindset. Think about potential hidden costs before diving in. Even seemingly free opportunities might require an investment of your time, and time is a valuable resource. Strive for financial synergy. Financial synergy happens when you combine different financial elements, and the result is way better than if you added up their individual parts. Take marriage, for example. When two people commit to each other, there's this awesome connection that goes beyond just adding up their individual strengths. This synergy often brings unexpected and positive surprises. Now, in your financial journey, it's about getting the right components to work together seamlessly. Think strategic budgeting, smart investments, and teaming up with others who share similar money goals. It's like puzzle pieces fitting perfectly. Each element complements the other, creating a powerhouse of financial synergy. Don't sell your time for less. All right, let's jump into another money lesson that's all about valuing your time. Seriously, don't sell yourself short. If you think your time costs nothing, think again. Even though time is finite, how you spend it directly impacts your financial well-being and overall happiness. Every hour of your day is an opportunity to invest in activities that align with your goals, values, and happiness. So take a moment to evaluate how you're spending your time and make sure it matches your priorities. Income is not your wealth. All right, let's get real about a money lesson many folks miss. Income isn't your wealth. It's a common misconception to think your wealth is solely determined by the size of your paycheck or bank account. But surprise, surprise, it's not true. Wealth is about how much you save and invest. Believe it or not, you can be wealthier than someone earning way more if you focus on creating assets and making smart financial choices. The key is to understand the difference between income and wealth. If you spend your entire income on your current lifestyle without thinking about the future, you won't build wealth. You need to balance your current comforts with strategically allocating funds for future financial security. The real measure of wealth is not just how much you make, but also how much you save and invest. Those who prioritize saving and investing tend to accumulate more significant wealth over time. Prioritize asset creation over excessive spending, and you can build substantial wealth, no matter your income level. It's not about what you earn, it's about what you save and invest for a financially secure future. Having fun while budgeting. Yep, you heard it right. Living your best life on a budget is the ultimate balancing act. It's about finding that sweet spot between the YOLO spirit and being financially responsible for your future. Instead of making your life all about work, discover hobbies that bring you joy without breaking the bank. Whether it's painting, hiking, or playing an instrument, affordable hobbies can add excitement without draining your wallet. You don't need to hit the town every weekend to have a good time. Embrace the idea of planning epic experiences like a weekend getaway, a camping trip, or exploring local hidden gems. Trust me, these moments can be just as, if not more, fulfilling than frequent nights out. It's tempting to splurge when you first start going out, but understanding and respecting your budget is crucial. Set financial goals. Setting achievable money goals is like having a roadmap for your financial journey. It keeps you engaged, creates positive competition, and helps you overcome obstacles standing in the way of your financial aspirations. Let's say you set a goal to pay off your student loans in five years. That target becomes your driving force, motivating you to make consistent extra payments and become debt-free ahead of schedule. Goals provide a clear roadmap to navigate through financial barriers. When faced with unexpected expenses or challenges, Having a specific objective helps in making informed decisions that align with your long-term financial vision. Cost versus value. Imagine you're buying shoes for running. The high-quality, durable option may have a higher upfront cost compared to a budget-friendly alternative. Now, let's talk about value. Let's say the cheaper shoes are 80 bucks and the more expensive ones are 180 bucks. However, the cheaper shoes hurt your feet and last you three months whereas the more expensive ones keep your feet feeling fresh and will last you 10 months. So if you buy the cheap shoes, it'll cost you $320 over the course of a year, 
versus $210 over the course of a year for the more expensive ones. In simple terms, cost is the amount of money you pay up front for something, while value goes beyond that monetary figure. Money can't buy you happiness. Rather than expecting happiness from material possessions, invest your money in experiences. Creating memorable moments and engaging in activities can boost your overall well-being. While money can't create more hours in a day, it can buy time in a different sense. Investing in services or products that save time, thereby freeing up personal time, can be a significant contributor to happiness. So how do you ensure that money buys you happiness? Prioritize experiences, benefit others, and work towards financial freedom. Understanding that it's not about the amount of money but how you spend it allows you to leverage your financial resources for enhanced financial success and happiness. Now, here's another lesson no one ever taught you. You need insurance. Imagine your family enjoying a dream vacation. Suddenly, a medical emergency hits, leading to unexpected hospitalization and significant medical expenses. This is where insurance steps in as a safety net, preserving your family's well-being and allowing them to focus on recovery without the added stress of financial aftermath. While money can give you a sense of control, security, and the ability to buy experiences, insurance is that vital safeguard against unforeseen events that could otherwise jeopardize your financial well-being. It acts like a protective shield, ready to defend you against unexpected events that might lead to financial distress. Whether it's health insurance, life insurance, or property insurance, having coverage ensures that you're prepared for the unexpected. It's giving you peace of mind and allowing you to navigate through life's uncertainties without constant worry about potential financial setbacks. Planning your retirement. Why is planning for your retirement such an important money lesson? Well, planning ahead ensures that you have the time needed to build a sufficient nest egg, steering clear of the stress of having to work indefinitely. While retirement might feel like light years away, don't solely rely on Social Security or other government programs. You've got to look out for your future self. Consider the impact of inflation. What buys you a fancy latte now might not cover future lattes. Without proper planning, your golden years might not be as golden as you envisioned. So here's the deal. Take charge of your financial future by starting to plan for retirement early. What are some lessons that changed your life? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video on money lessons that no one ever taught you. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more personal finance and investing related content. Here's to becoming rich and financially free.